Good, uh, good evening, everybody. Hello, this is Tiffany Roman. I am your host. This is episode number 14 of Small Biz Highlight. Thank you all to everyone who is joining us live. Please feel free to comment and leave a message in the chat. Um, we'd love to hear from you. If you are watching us on replay, please please hashtag replay in the comments so we know you were here and let us know how we did. Um, you know, a couple uh, tidbits here before we get started. I, you know, started this web show out of the blue, just randomly started interviewing a few of my friends with small businesses. And <laughs> I um, did not expect a response like I just recently got. I posted a couple um, pages about how I am doing this web show and now I was asked to do so many interviews that I have to add a second show on Mondays. So instead of just going live on Monday nights at 6 p.m., I will be going live twice a week on Mondays at 1 and 6 to help uh, get the word out on all the small businesses that have reached out to me to get the word out on who they are and what they've got going on. So I am so overwhelmed with like appreciation and, and just gra gratitude that these businesses are trusting me to get their word out, get their names out there and just giving me that opportunity. So thank you to everybody who reached out if you happen to be watching this um, tonight. Tonight, I have a special guest here. His name is Sean Martz. Hello. How are you tonight? Great. How are you? Thank you. Oh, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. You are you. my 14th guest. So, you know, still brand new at this, but I appreciate you taking <laughs> the, the chance on me to help you get your name well, out thank there. Thank you so much. You're doing great, I think, so. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, okay. I always like to start out the interview very, um, you know, laid back and just start out with letting people know who you are first before we get into your business. So where are you from? Family? Uh, some uh, what, uh, some um, things you like to do for fun? What have you? Whatever you'd like the world to know about you. <laughs> Uh, basically, my name is Sean Mart. Um, I just started my own woodworking business. It's called Mart's Woodworks. I have two daughters. I'm going through divorce. I have a girlfriend. And that's about it, really, as far as I just relocated to Dover, Pennsylvania recently. So my whole life has changed in the last couple months. Um, I'm right where I want to be, and I'm very happy about that. So my life's going great. Well, that's great to hear. It's always nice to hear when people are happy with where they are <laughs> i kind of feel like yeah i feel guilty because there's so many people having bad times right now and i'm kind of succeeding well not succeeding but i'm doing you know i'm accomplishing my dream and i wish everybody could do that you know oh, i absolutely understand what you're where you're coming from but you know it i'm very grateful to the universe that they it has aligned enough to allow you to still <laughs> thank so, you, you know. <laughs> you know, um, I know that your business is called Mart's Woodworks. Now, how long have you been in business? I've only been in business. I started, I, st I got my shop, um, my other shop in Elizabethtown, I think May 1st. So not very long at all, just a couple months. Um, oh, when wow. I so you're yeah. brand new, basically. I'm totally That's brand awesome. new, yeah. I don't I don't even have my LLC yet. That's how new I am. So I'm still waiting on that. I applied for it. I'm just waiting on it. It takes up to 10 weeks, apparently. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, I'm brand new. <laughs> well, that's um, amazing. Congratulations. That in such crazy times that we're living in now, to start a brand new business has to be intimidating. Yeah. But I'm so, yeah. Yeah, I'm I so saw excited it for you. Well, thank you. Me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, actually, he says. That's cute. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, but you've only been in business for a couple months, but you've you've had to have been doing the woodworks part of it for a while now. How long I've, have you been doing that kind of work? 
Well, I've been woodworking off and on my whole life. Um, my dad's, I've worked with my dad doing a lot of woodworking. I've done carpentry work, but I've never done a professional. Um, I just did it on the side and for as a hobby and stuff like that, but never, never as a career. But it's always been my dream to be, have a woodworking business and here I am. So, um, so woodworking um, to me is like a broad term. So what specifically do yeah. you do with wood? <laughs> um, okay, specifically, I take wood and I make it look awesome. Um, a lot of it is I get skids and I break them apart and I build things out of skids, but I also redo like old furniture that needs made over or, yeah. you know, upkept or whatever you want to call it. It just needs an up, you know, a facelift, you can maybe just refinished or whatever um i also build uh furniture and wood products from scratch um basically whatever the customer wants and if i can't do it i tell them i can't do it but i usually find a way to do it oh, wow. so basically i'll do pretty much anything um w w related to wood i don't really want to set limit I don't want to set limits on myself. I want to be able to, you know, do whatever. So I don't really have a specific, but my main thing is I get skids and I break them down and I build stuff out of that. Okay. So, um, you do things like, uh, tables and chairs, like oh, furniture. Yeah, furniture. Yes. Like that, is what you mean? Uh, well, not, not so much. Chair. I don't know how to turn wood. I haven't ran a wood lathe at all, but, um, I build for I build coffee tables and tables uh, and nightstands, pretty much anything. I have a coffee table actually. I'll I'll show you if you want. I just got it finished. Oh, that would be <laughs> cool to see. How long does it usually take you to get something done? I know it depends on what the item is yeah, and whatever. Uh, but I'm sure. It varies. Um, I'm pretty picky about you know how it looks, so I'm, I take a little bit of extra time finishing it and sanding it and. Um, so two to two to four days, I guess, for a coffee table. Probably, probably four. But as you know, that's just another thing. The more I do, the, I'll find quicker ways to do it. So it's just a matter of, you know, getting quicker at it, I guess. And I'm sure but, you will. Uh, like you said, you've only been at this professionally for a couple months now, so it's just a matter of getting your the swing of things, right? Correct. Here's the table. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Oh, I like the space on the bottom. I always like tables with, with space on the I bottom. Like the the shelf on the bottom. Oh, that's very nice. No, no, so top. It's not quite dry. It's still drying. That's why it looks like that. I can do that. I just finished that. That is so cool. I, you seem to really enjoy it because when you talk about it, it, you you it, just it light doesn't up. Seem like a, yeah. I love I love woodworking. I think a lot of it is because when I was younger, my dad and I did a lot of woodworking, and a lot of it brings back memories with him. And you know, it's like it's a passion. I have a passion for it, I guess. So that helps. Oh, I'm sure it does. It it always uh, ups the ante when uh, yeah, family sure. memories are involved with definitely. what you're doing. That is definitely yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you do the um, – you said you refinish uh, old – furniture as well so like yeah, if someone yeah, do a piece of furniture, can make it look new again yeah i can do that i do i like i like to do that actually i like to take an old piece of furniture and make it look new again and that's i think that's a lot of the reason why i like to use pallets because to a lot of people it's just a junk pallet you know and i take it and make it something cool you know it's always neat to refurbish i guess you could say or whatever you want to call it, trash. Make make it beautiful again, you know. It's one of those moments where like somebody's trash is somebody else's treasure. Yeah, exactly. or whatever it does. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right. So if someone comes to you and wants um, something redone, I'm sure it depends on the size of the item or whatever, but like how, nope. what's the typical going rate or how do you, how do you estimate how much it's going to charge? Do you charge like by hour or what have you? Yeah. Yeah. Basically it's, hourly an hourly rate plus uh materials so i don't i don't overcharge for materials i get i maybe charge just a little bit more um and a lot of times i use skids which i get a lot of them for free so the material is almost nothing um but yeah it's basically hourly rate um depending i kind of estimate how many hours i think it'll take and i go from there so Oh, um, how about when it comes to uh, something brand new, like the table that you have? Is that something that you built from scratch? Yes, it is. And I didn't, oh. I didn't, use, I didn't use kids for this one. Um, I decided not to. I wanted to go for something a little bit different. So I just uh, used uh, maple wood, actually, and poplar. And um, I built it out of that. I didn't use any skids on it. But normally it would just be uh, an hourly rate, and then I just kind of calculate how much material I think I'll need and how many hours, and that's it. Okay. Um, and then, uh, so, all right. You redo furniture, you make furn furniture from scratch and whatnot. Um, Not just furniture, so like, um, is there anything else? Room. That was going to be my next, my next yeah. question. Yeah, I'll do, I'll build pretty much anything. Um, planners, um, garden stuff, inside. You know, I like building wall, I, do, I like building flags, but they're very time consuming. I don't really make a lot of money on it, but I love building American flags. Um, that's one of my favorite things to build. Actually, I built my brother one and he was really happy with it, so. Like American flags, okay. like out of wood and stuff, yes. you mean? Yep. Yeah, a blue, a blue lives matter flag, any kind of flag. I can't do em emblems and stuff like that yet. I don't have that kind of technology, but I can do other stuff like that needs stenciled and stuff like that. But I can't do. I don't have the technology to do emblems and stuff at this point. Okay, that's a, but eventually, that's a goal, right? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, right, I want to be so able to do that. What your favorite thing to do is the flags, and I know you said those are time consuming. Um, yeah, I love building, I love building coffee tables too. That's probably my second favorite because it's like the mostly used piece of furniture in the house. You know, everybody gathers around the couch and uses the coffee table for something. Oh yeah, you know. I can agree so it's like the, it's like the centerpiece for the living room. You know, and I I'm creating that. It's pretty cool to me. So you're fairly new, it's brand new. You're like fresh in business. <laughs> as, far as, as far as being a business owner, yes. <laughs> as far as being a business owner, yes, yes. So what would you say would be a good uh, referral for you? Um, or like how, how sh if people were to help spread the word about you, how is the best way for them to do that for you? I have no idea. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess however they want. I mean, <laughs> I don't care how they do it. Uh, I guess word of mouth and telling them that, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't have enough products out there to for someone to say. I mean, I have like a couple, but, you know, you, I need more products out there so people can actually see them and touch them and say that I do good work, you know. So it's just a I matter of. It's just a matter of me getting more products out there and letting letting my work speak for itself. As far that's my opinion, anyway. And you do have a Facebook page. I saw I do, that. Yeah. I, I do, have that yeah. listed on the bottom. I'll make sure to put the in the comments too for people who would like to um, look you up on your Facebook page and get a hold of you for any reason. Um, yeah. But I mean, you know. I started this web show, like I said, to help businesses like you, like it, even businesses who've been in business for years, um, small businesses, 
like we mentioned before we got started, small business owners have to stay together and support each other. We're like our own little plan here where, you know, we really need to, if we're not building each other up, then nobody else is going to do it for us. So, you know, I am very, um, I am very fortunate to be able to do this and I'm very grateful to you for giving me the opportunity to showcase your business, such a brand new business. I didn't realize it was so new. Yeah, I've been in business for so long. Yeah, when you contacted me, I was just in the process of moving my shop that I already opened in Elizabeth town to Dover. So I was in the process of moving. So yeah, it's brand new like i was only at my other shop for like two months and then i moved to dover but um, i haven't had a lot of time to build anything because i've been moving and dealing with life you know what i mean plus i was working my full-time job and i didn't quit until like a month ago and that oh was wow okay months. yeah so i yeah i was working my full-time job and because of that i couldn't do enough at my shop so i decided it was time to quit my job and now all i do is my shop so I'm at my shop full time. I don't know if you knew that. Or not. I I did remember seeing a post that you made. Yeah, that I, you, yeah I wasn't. Or, I wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think I you mentioned sure. it to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you say shop. It, does that mean that's some place that people could come see you, or is it just your workshop basically? Um, it's my workshop. People can come here. I don't really want everybody coming here because it's a distraction, and plus, you know, it's a liability. But you know. If someone's coming here to pick up something or I invite them you know, friend to help me or whatever, you know, I've had family here come and visit already, you know, so yeah, they could come here. So when someone uh, comes and gets a piece of furniture from you, whether it's brand new or refurbished or what have you, what are some good uh, advice tips that you would give someone to help keep it <laughs> looking nice and, you know, uh, preserving oh. um i mean i i put a finish on it that makes it pretty durable like for coffee tables it's going to get beat up it's a coffee table you know so i would say just you know clean it occasionally treat it with the wood you know a wood cleaner or whatever or just take care of it like a normal piece of furniture nothing special Okay. Don't abuse it. just don't abuse it don't throw it out the window you know <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would that there. <laughs> I know that like a problem, but yeah, yeah I would suggest that <laughs> just take care of it like you would anything else you know I mean I I build them I try to build it to last so it's not like it's not super fragile you know like my coffee tables I could jump up and down on easy so no oh, okay all right so as we're winding down here What's is that? There, as we're winding down here, is there anything else that you would like people to know about your business, how to get a hold of you, um, what your goals are for the future? Because you're brand new. This is your point, your chance to yeah. just kind of put it out there that this is what I've got going on and this is what I'm hoping for in the future with your support. This can happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to be a millionaire. I just want to be successful as far as I want to have happy customers that love their products and repeat customers. And, you know, I just, I just want the people to love what, what I built for them. That's basically my goal. If I'm not making my customers happy, I'm not accomplishing anything. So that's my main goal. And then I think everything else will just kind of fall into place after that. So Basically, all my goal is is to make great products that people enjoy for the rest of their life, and to have fun doing it. <laughs> that is the most important part. Fun, yes, absolutely. Yep. You seem like I you really it. enjoy it, and you know, yeah, I, mean, I know it can get really frustrating at times. It can be really daunting at times to get started with a business. Like you said, the LLC portion of it will take ten weeks. Like yeah. it's just waiting by the mail, the mailbox to see right. what is yeah. coming. You know what I mean? I, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I, I feel for you, my friend. And I, 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 love you know, it. I wish you all the best. That's I all I can it. do right now. Yeah. Like I have 
no, I have no um, doubt that you are just going to succeed because you can tell that you enjoy this. You know, just that one table shows how much care and, you know, details you put into everything. Um, Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, you know, so uh, like I said, this is Mr. Sean Martz, Martz Woodworks. Uh, and down at the bottom is his email, phone number, and Facebook page. Um, I will be putting that information for his Facebook page in the comments as well, so that if you want to get a hold of him, reach out to him, get um, some feedback on a piece of furniture you have, or maybe see about getting one made, uh, he is definitely the guy to talk to. Um, and, and if you have issues getting a hold of him or the link doesn't work or whatever, feel free to reach out to me. I can definitely put you in touch with him for sure. Um, you know, I want to thank you, Sean. Um, thank I know you, you so much for your time. I appreciate it. <laughs> you're, so you're doing great. Thank you for taking the time is, to be here with me. This is my today. first time being interviewed, so I don't know what I'm doing either. If that makes you feel good. <laughs> I know I, that's what you said, and you know it takes. <laughs> It's very nerve wracking. It can be very nerve wracking to come on live first, the first time um, ever and, you know, answer questions and whatnot. So, you know, good for you. I'm, you know, you did a great job, <laughs> you know, thank I'm you. Sure thank your you so much. Will tell you the same after they watch the video, um, but thank Nobody you. Watched it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much. It was great talking with you. And I love the fact that you're helping small business. That's amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. Seriously. I will keep going as long as small businesses keep asking me to do interviews. So I will be there for Thank them. Um, Thank you so much. One little announcement that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode. Um, after tonight's episode on Facebook, I will be posting this video on youtube we officially have a youtube channel now <laughs> Am I the, so i'm the first one on youtube you no you're not gonna be i posted my previous episodes on youtube okay. you're just gonna be the okay. first one i post the day of <laughs> okay i got you all right i thought yeah. i was the first one <laughs> So if you like this episode and want to check out my previous ones, you can do so on my Facebook page or you can help me grow my um, audience on YouTube and uh, follow me on YouTube, you know, um, and uh, check out all the previous episodes along with this one tonight that I'll be loading here shortly. Um, thank you all for joining us. I saw that we had at least five people watching tonight while we were live. So thank you to who you are. Uh, thank, thank you for, you for watching. Us. Like, love, share the video, spread the love and, and the word about Mart's Woodworks so we can get this small business up and running um, and getting the word out that he exists and he's ready for business. Um, and with that, we will be signing off for the night. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good Thanks night. For watching. And remember, next week starts 1 o'clock and 6 p.m. So two episodes in one day starts next week. Goodbye, everybody.